As far as our eyes can see, there's just lock gates. The Elson's blocked. I won't show you. Just means that we can't empty the toilets, which isn't great. <sighs> Not the best start. It's winter, so back to water being in the engine bay constantly. Big day today. We've got to make sure we do the engine checks nice and thoroughly. <laughs> there weren't any unexpected surprises. All okay, Captain? Hopefully. Today is a super exciting day because we are going down one of the wonders of the waterways. For those of you who don't already know, it's the Cane Hill Flight, which I think is the biggest flight on the entire network. And it's basically about 29 locks in total from start to finish. And you have to do it in one day because there's only two points at either end that you can stop. And the drop is about 75 foot and each lock is about eight foot in drop so it's pretty steep hill that we're going <laughs> yeah. down we've already done one of the other wonders of the waterways the Pont Cusachta aqueduct <laughs> we are literally going over the aqueduct right now look we'll link it here but this is our second and we're so excited so let's not waste any more time <sighs> here we go swan's out observing keeping an eye on things Ready to go. How are you feeling? It's nice, I'm all right. Like a lot of people hype it up as this scary thing, but in my head, it's just a few locks in a row. Like it, I'm sure it'll be quite tiring. The main thing I'm on edge about is just the engine doing something weird and unexpected part way down. But it's not a staircase, so it should be quite nice. 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. So we've literally just come round that corner and here's lock number one of the day. Ready? Yeah, let's go. Lock one of 29. It's already set the wrong way. Notice how smiley and excited we are. We'll have to check back in at the end to see if we're really grumpy and miserable. Oh, because of water levels, you're not actually allowed to go down until 10 a.m. It's currently 9 a.m. so. Really? We've got to wait an hour. Not too sure what that actually means because basically there's five locks and then there's the actual Cane Hill flight which is the 16 locks back to back and that's manned by lock keepers to make sure that you don't get too many boats coming up and down. We think that the 10 a.m. applies to that so we're going to go use this hour to get through those five and then be ready at 10 a.m. Yeah, I think so. Hope we're not breaking any rules. At least it's quiet today. There we go into lock number one. Only 28 more. Straight into lock number two. Number three. Still got quite a lot of energy. We're going strong so far. But it is only three of 29. That's the 10 o'clock chimes. So the locks are officially open. So we're not being naughty anymore if we were being naughty. <laughs> a while ago and it had like a turny handle so I've been having to use this one and it's just not very good because it's so long handled and my fingers keep getting bashed on the on the gates because it's so long so I'm gonna swap oh it's really yeah. no I don't think I can use that it's shorter it's rusty but it's not as bad oh yeah that's fair some of these gates look pretty stiff. It's four done. 
some of these locks were actually scheduled to close and have maintenance done, but then the stoppage was cancelled. So we're hoping that they're in all right condition, but you can already see the wear and tear on some of them with just bricks missing out of the walls. And Amy said one of the gate paddles looked like it was going to fall off. Here we go, last lock before the big flight of 16. I'm tired already. <laughs> New tennis ball for Rufus. So the start of the 16 is over there, but we're pretty sure this is a wharf where you can get water, so we're gonna swing onto there first because the facilities it devises, uh, well, the Elson was broken and we need water. Attempt two. That was much more successful. Toilet and water done now, so we're ready for the big flight. Oh, here we go. Doesn't look like much from the top, but trust me, it's steep. As far as our eyes can see, there's just lock gates. Here we go, Amy, are you ready? No. <laughs> Ready? And this is it. We're officially on the KNL flight. on here is really nice he's zipping up and down on a quad bike and he's basically filled all the locks for us going down apart from there's a wide beam coming up which is filling up all the locks so we'll pass them in the next bit and then they'll just should be pretty much full all the way down Rufus is being so brave he thinks this is a very boring cruise because all he can see is walls not impressed are you now we're just waiting for the wide beam to come up and then we can carry on down through all the locks that they've filled. Now we can carry on. There's a cheeky little spider that's making his own little web for our phone that's doing the time lapse. <laughs> the audacity of boat spiders. You're going to really see it now. It's being made a lot harder with how muddy and slippery it is. We're doing a tactical swap. Now Wes is limbering up and uh, I'm gonna have a rest because I'm getting so hot. Come on! I don't know what's happening here. A little alarming. So it's currently one o'clock now. We set off this morning at nine and because of the winter, like daylight hours, it takes a few hours to get down here. The last boat that is allowed to start coming down or up is one o'clock. So it's just us today. We've got all the way down, all to ourselves. And we have to leave all of the locks empty. The lock, uh, the volunteer said. And these are the side pounds, so each lock's got its own pound and that's where they get the water from. Do you miss your old job, Wes? Some of us are actually having to put some effort in, Amy. Cheeky, isn't it? I can't believe how easy this job is. Like, I'm going to do this more often. I'm not even sweating anymore. Our little routine that's working quite well is 
whoever's going down in this one, you open the one paddle, go and open the next lock, and go back up over the second panel, and then the driver can go straight through into the next one. Look at her, sitting down there, all cushy, not caring the world, or I'm doing all the hard work. We're almost halfway down this giant flight. This is lock number seven, our 13th of the day. There's still another nine, and then another seven. It's tiring. Look at these two slackers. Just chilling. This is lock eight of the flight, but number 14 today. The halfway point. Rufus has actually been the best boy. Yes, you have. With bribery of treats, but still, you've been good, haven't you? For those that don't know, the driver's job is a lot harder mentally because they have to keep the boat off of this thing, which is called the silt. Because if it gets caught, this can happen. to be back on the locks. In a way, yeah, because I just get a bit bored when I'm up there. Like, my brain just starts, and then I lose concentration, so. <laughs> it's safety. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say how lovely the lock keeper on this flight is. He's been riding up and down on his quad bike, just helping us out, because there's only two of us, so it takes ages and it's exhausting. Because it's so quiet, and no one else is allowed on the flight, I guess he's got nothing else to do until we're off it. He's making it so much easier. It's lovely. So cool. And this little angel's being so good. You're being a good boy. Oh, yes. Careful. <laughs> it's not been too bad. We've really enjoyed it to be fair, but I am excited to stop. And there's the last lock. between the locks, roof is going to come off for a bit. He's been ever so good. Bye, K and Hill. Spot the happy Rufus. I think we're going to swap back again because Amy's knackered, understandably. But these next seven locks, it's not like there's a gap between them. There's one. There's the next one. So I don't think we can really moor around here even if we did have internet. But that's fine. There's only six more to go for the day and then we're done. 
trooper and doing these last ones. I've got the easy job of eating biscuits. Jula. This is the best way to pull the boat in. Come on then Rufus, good boy. This is it, the penultimate one. That last lock gate did it for me, so we've swapped back for the last one. Amy's walked ahead. Here we go, one more, and it's a race against the sunset once again. <laughs> there it is, the last one. That's a pretty good well done from nature, isn't it? Sunset's absolutely beautiful. Now, last luck of the day. <laughs> And what an award, a beautiful sunset to finish off our cruise. And that little building there is the pumping station that provides all the water for the Cane Hill flight. I'm tired. <laughs> I think we found a spot. That was close. My heels got stuck. Cane Hill conquered. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us on this epic adventure conquering Cane Hill flight. Huge thank you to Shannon for the chips this week. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to join us on more boaty adventures.